let's uh, start with the one thing that has connected the whole world for over a year now. Uh, how has your band been doing during the pandemic? What kind of effects uh, has it had on Tonic? I, uh, I don't think it affects the band uh, too much. Since, I, uh, since after I've been elected to the parliament in 2016, the band has stayed quite low file low profile for a few years so we have been like this for years so actually like uh when we decided to release the live album uh for the uh, megaport festival uh it's kind of uh, uh it's it's for me i think thonic has been more active than before the pandemic because for this pandemic and for the festival we uh decided to to release this live album and to arrange to to uh to to manage a new set to rearrange the songs so we we have done a lot of things before the pandemic <laughs> during the pandemic then before the pandemic yeah i watched the megaport uh, gig a couple of times from youtube with a bit of uh, bittersweet feelings Wishing I could have been there, but uh, well, c uh, can you explain what kind of uh, experience was that for you to you know play in the festival uh, since first time since two thousand eighteen, and the festival that's very close to you, and then also having Audrey Tang guesting on the screen and all these things. I think uh, I think first of all, I think because of the pandemic, uh, a lot of things has uh, stopped last year. And then since last summer, I think since last uh, maybe July, then a few big events started to coming back, started to come back, like some uh, traditional uh, religious events and some uh, baseball games and uh, some big exhibitions has, have started to come back. And then then it then the festival megaport festival become maybe the first one to come back uh during the pandemic so not just us but also the fans the metalheads look forward to the festival a lot so for 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 us i think we i think we feel the the experience was quite unique because uh because we have compared to all the online activities and to hang out with the fans or with friends online by uh but to 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 be on stage and to be that close to the fans and to feel the real energy from the fans it was very unique it was replaceable so i was very energized and and I, I think that's the power of life of concerts and that's the, the power between uh, people. So, so I, I do hope that, uh, I know that there are festivals come back uh, in, in Europe, right? Uh, uh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. So, so I, yeah, I do hope that this kind of experience uh, or this, uh, all these live events come back soon everywhere because this is real, this is uh, replaceable, and I feel so energized. And to and feels uh, after uh, after uh, joining so many online events compared to all those events, I it's maybe it's the first time to to feel so real that the connections between people and connections between uh, the 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 musicians and the fans that's so real yeah it's uh still uh mesmeriz mesmerizing to see that uh footage because uh, like i said we are not quite there yet uh with the gigs and festivals and you were also addressing uh english-speaking fans during the concert how did you as a band get ready for that uh like did you already when you were getting ready did you know how huge this would be Mm, yes, we knew uh, because the tickets were sold out on the day when it was announced. So we know that there will be a lot of people, but uh, but we we thought that it was just like a regular feeling of 
all the festivals. But that was very touching. That was, yeah, we all the, the members are, uh, were moving by, by the fans and by the atmosphere because it's, yeah, it's, it's very historical. Tell me a bit about the idea behind releasing uh, another live album to follow the 2020s Taiwan Victory Live. I think first, just uh, just like I have said, first because uh, it's the first show, first festival come back uh, during the pandemic, so we feel it's very historical. And the other thing is that we we have been the band has been talking about mix some uh electronic stuff in the music but we we never had we uh had chance to 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 active that kind of ideas and then because of this opportunity and because we just come up with the idea to work with audrey tang that uh, a digital guy a digital minister in the cabinet and our old friends so so it become a, a real idea that we can make these kind of things more meaningful not just because not just be, just not just been doing it but be, make it more meaningful so we decided to to uh yeah to to have uh to to make it uh to uh, what's the word to commemorate that uh, and that's that's the reason. So I think the, all the bands, because we we also I think the band also have agreed that we should try to try to make because we don't we didn't play uh, too many shows since I've been elected. So we decided to uh, make all the shows be more meaningful and memorable. So I think this one is one of those ideas, one of those things. So hopefully, we don't know if we will have more ideas in the future, but yeah, but we are very happy that we, we done that and we recorded that. As I understand, uh, uh, Tonic won't be touring anytime soon because of your uh, political career also. And uh, well, after two live albums, uh, do you already know when uh, is there gonna be a new album of music? <laughs> we we have some new uh, materials, but yeah, it depends on when me and Jesse, the guitarist, we will have time to arrange them. So, at the, in the band, we are still debating that should we prepare an album or just song by song. We we have not. We are not sure yet, but we have some materials. So hopefully we will have some new stuff. Uh, hopefully next year. <laughs> well, how is Megaport uh, Festival looking right now? Is there going to be a version next year too? I hope so, because uh, nowadays, I know compared to other countries, Taiwan, uh, we still uh, contain the the epidemic well even we have some cases recently and um, but uh but look but it ha is going down right now and uh, like today we have only 50 cases so hopefully that in like one month we just like last year hopefully since july or august big events will come back and then hopefully next year there will be festivals again and uh, and uh, I think I, I, but I'm not sure if Tonic will play Megaport next year. It depends on the, 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 all the members, but I do hope that we can play some shows because I, I feel that's, uh, yeah, I, I think all the members, we need to be cheered <laughs> by the fans when, especially during the pandemic. Yeah. I did, I never thought that I, I, uh, I never thought that I would feel this in, because after I got left, elected to the parliament, I, I thought that uh, this kind of feeling will be a bit far away from me. But then when we played the Megapore Festival earlier this year, I, I feel this is really replaceable and I really need to be with a crowd so hard. Yeah. It yeah, can drive me to move on, not just 
uh, with uh, not just in the music direction, but also my all my uh, political direction or all the things that I want to do. I need more passion uh, from the crowd too. You have um, mentioned a couple of times uh, your political career. Uh, you are, of course, a member of the legislative yarn uh, or the parliament there. So uh, how have you made these two like traditionally very different careers work together with uh, harsh metal and then, uh, on the other hand, politics? And as well, they seem to work wonderfully together. <laughs> I think it's very difficult. I think we uh, even now I still can't really work two kind of careers in a perfect balance. I think most of the time I, I, no, most of the time I uh, dedicate to the political works and, but because there, they will be so many negative moods, emotions, uh, being care, uh, coming out during this uh, political journey. So, so I think music is a channel that I can put my all the ne negative emotions together and uh, to to transform them into my works, my music works. So for me, music is like a therapy. It's more like something to cure my negative emotions in the political journey, in, in the political career. So so I I can't really try to balance them, but music will naturally be there because there are so many negative stuff in the political uh, career. So I didn't, I, I thought that I, uh, I wouldn't have any new materials since I, a bit, uh, after I got elected in 2016, I thought I, it's, it will be a long, long time that I won't have any new materials, but it's not like that. Uh, new materials coming out every now and then. It's just about when I have time to rearrange them. Because every time I got some negative emotions, I got so angry or so sad or so frustrated, I uh, try to record some ideas with my phone. And so there are a lot of ideas, and but I can't really find time to arrange them. But there have been so many things been listed, been recorded in my phone, so it has been so music has been always there and then it's then it's naturally uh been uh part of me i think that's that's how i i, I don't want to say balance them it's just naturally be a part of me political politics and music <laughs>